I was debating whether I was going to put this video up or not because I don't like causing division and I don't like causing hurt. But I published that video message that I felt Christ gave me in prayer. And there were some comments about how a woman should dress or how she, she should do this or, or what she should be wearing and so forth. When you're captivated for Christ, when you know Christ, you change. You change. You give your life to him. You know what the virtues are. You give your whole heart to Christ. You change. You see things differently. You love differently. You have no idea what some person could be going through when they walk into a mass or in a chapel. No, I'm trying to do so much work in Ireland to bring people to Christ, to what I love. I want to bring them to prayer. I and mean, if they come to a Mass for the first time and they get a snide comment or a snide comment on this video, how do you think they feel? You've no idea how, what that person has gone through in their life. You have no idea what they've suffered. You have no idea what they've been through. And I speak from experience. I can speak about suffering. I can speak about suffering. I know what suffering is. And I can speak about... You have no idea what somebody could be going through. We have to be other Christs. We have to preach the gospel with authenticity and love and respect. I'll say it clearly, guys. Especially in the traditional movement. There was a guy who had 1 Peter 5, Steve Skojek. Was he driven out of the traditional movement? How we treated him, how his family was treated? Question mark, I don't know. We have to embody Christ in every action we take in life. I've learned this the hard way. You know, we cannot judge somebody and not knowing what suffering they might have had there's a whole world to evangelize. There are drug addicts, prostitutes, people that are lost, people that have been abused, people that are hurt, people that are hurting, people that never seen the beautiful love that Christ has to offer. Because whether people like it or not, and I know people, they get a bit upset when I put videos out there. Christ has revealed himself to me in the most amazing grace that I've never expected in my life that I've been able to touch his body touch his heart seeing his eyes his cross his crown of thorns his blood the nails the wood his blessed mother at his side I've been able to see the incredible love that that is just overwhelming I don't know what to do with it to be honest and I want to bring people to find that. My personality, who I am, I love traditional Latin Mass. But I despair if the movement ever gets so cocky that somebody walks into a, tra a, a traditional Latin Mass that I had advertised. I had advertised. And somebody comes to try and encounter what I find beautiful. And somebody puts them down with a comment. This woman was very well dressed, for my opinion. What's wrong with her wearing a pair of jeans? What is wrong with us that we can't love the soul that is searching for Christ? Can't we? They will change themselves once they draw near to Christ. They will change. Christ changes souls. He just does. He transforms. He's simply incredible. You know, it's so painful for me sometimes to see this world so caught up, so impoverished, so poor. People are so, are so poor that all they have is money and unhappiness and desperation and despair. If they only knew who God and Christ is. If they've only knew. You know, last week I got a tattoo. People will remember. Um, that tattoo rec represents for me 
a suffering that I don't want even to talk about in video. The years of suffering of something that I don't want to talk about in video. And I put it there because I wanted to see how I was would be judged for it. And it, it, it all came out. Do you know this? Do you know that? Do you know the other thing? I have no regrets. I have no regrets. I know who loved me. I know who called me. I have heard his voice. I have seen his eyes. I have touched his heart and he has revealed his heart to me. And I just want to show the world the beauty that Christ has to give. This profound beauty. The Eucharist which will transform the church. If you only knew. If you only knew. We have to be the heart of Christ in the church. You know, there's a whole world to evangelize in Ireland. There's a whole world to evangelize. There's a whole... I mean, do people not realize what it is to know Christ? If you saw him. I mean, now I understand. Now I understand. There is no way you can remain the same. Christ will change you. He will change the person that is searching for him. You don't need to judge that person or tell that person anything. Once he encounters that person, he changes them. I can assure you the second time somebody goes through a traditional Latin Mass, they know. They'll know what to do. They'll know what to do. If we are ever to love this Mass and to bring Christ into this church, we have to work together, guys. We have to love like no other. We have to be mirrors of Christ's love. Christ will do so much in a soul if we let him. It's profoundly painful to see what's happening in the church. And for us traditional Catholics, I mean, guys, let's realize it. Irish traditional Catholics, there's been... There's three different groups in Ireland or four different groups and we and some of you can't even talk together. And when we somebody comes to experience what I find beautiful, she gets a snide comment. That isn't Catholic. That isn't Christ's love. That's not right. Let Christ work his in souls that are looking for him. Let Christ work. If you only knew who Christ is and what his heart is capable of doing what the Eucharist is if the church saw the Eucharist the reason why we are not able to bring souls to Christ is we don't embody him we don't give our heart over and say Christ here is my heart I have held nothing back from you I have confessed everything and I will never separate myself from you. Please do something with my heart. And Christ will. He will. I tell you. Once you have seen Christ. And I have. I don't care what you think. I don't care what anybody thinks. I will speak the truth. I will speak from my experience. My encounter with him. His love for me. Because I am free. And when you're free, you're free. <laughs> you know, you don't need to worry anymore. It's the ultimate freedom. Because now I can walk to heaven and I'm not afraid of death anymore. I don't care. I know who stands beyond the grave. I have seen him. I have seen him. I know him. And he knows me. And he is asking me. He is spurring me on every day. Show my love. I mean... The other day, I was in uh, Westport, and there was another thing, guys. Let's get this straight. Let's get this straight. If I put a video up there, and uh, there was a uh, one comment, oh altar girl, there was a girl carrying a cross. Oh my God, get over yourselves. <sighs> you know, sometimes I wonder what is going on in the minds of different Catholics on both sides. Both sides, both the liberals that won't talk to traditionals and some traditionals that won't see our lived experience of the faith. You know, our lived experience, our lived... You don't know what Christ has done for me in my soul and in the soul of so many people I know. 
that maybe don't have never been to a traditional Latin Mass. I know. I have seen him. Now, in the, the last time on Wednesday, or oh, sorry, on, yeah, Wednesday, one of the sisters, they gave me this postcard about, um, you know, receiving our Lord kneeling on the tongue. And it's, you know, the, there are four grave consequences for receiving communion on the hand. It's a postcard that, that they had done up. And I said, isn't it beautiful? Why, but we need to renew the Eucharist. We need to renew the Eucharist. We need to return to what's sacred. How do we do it, guys? By dividing ourselves, we'll never get anywhere. We'll never get anywhere. I am no better than anybody in the church. Traditional Catholics, you need to be careful, guys. You need to be really careful. We need to embody in everything that we do the love of Christ. When somebody comes to Christ with their heart, with their heart, you have to love them, you have to help them and coach them and bring them along. Nobody has it all together. None of us are perfect. I'm certainly not. I'm certainly not. You know, be careful. You know, kind... Uh, I'm guilty of this. A, 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 you know, a snide remark or a comment that brings people down can destroy their day. We need to elevate souls, bring them to Christ. Because Christ is revealing himself to drug addicts and sex addicts and recuperating um, uh, drug ad alcoholics and people that, you know, have lost everything in their life. He is working in their lives. He is working with people that go to him with humility and love and say, Lord, I can't do it anymore. Help me. Help me. And they hand it over to Christ. He says, I can't do it, but you can do it. And Christ is working in ways you cannot imagine in the church. In places you cannot imagine. How many traditional Catholics are going to prisons every week? How many traditional Catholics are working with drug addicts every week? Now, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying, you know, we have to find the middle ground in the sense that I want the traditional mass back. I love that mass. But I, I don't like some some of the attitudes that we have. It. And, and we could say the, the same for liberals. We need to centre our life on Christ. You need to encounter him. If you touched his heart as he died, you would cry. You would cry. You would see what he did for us. And I don't care. I will call it out. I know who Christ is. And we have to give that hope and joy. Sheer joy. It's undescribable joy. Can you imagine when you realise the faith is real? Because Christ doesn't abandon us. He stands with us. You will see. The church has to see. It's silly season in Rome at the moment that they, we, have, we, have, we, we seem to be closing the doors to Christ instead of opening them. You know, we need to stop criticizing different people that, and their different experiences and different things in the church. You know, if somebody finds a faith experience in a charismatic mass and that has nourished them and that has helped them and they've had consistent conversion for years and years and years or they've gone to Medjugorje and had consistent conversion of life living the virtues adoring our Lord in adoration kneeling and receiving him on the tongue searching for him it's, if they've started searching for Christ we have to help we have to help so I ask people love our Lord be a witness for our Lord. Love him. We have to bring back the Mass. The traditional Latin Mass. We simply do. We have to bring back reverence. We have to centre our prayer on Christ. We have to turn to him. Once you see him there. You know. But there's. We have to. You know. Start working together guys. So I urge you. Like, you can attack me all you like. You can comment on your all you, all you like. I know where I'm going. I know I'm go not going to spend a single day in purgatory. It's a bold thing to say, but I know I'm not going to. I am going to Christ. I am going to the person I know. 
I'll do my suffering here. I am going to the person that has called me by my name, that has looked at me, that has revealed himself to me, that has shown his sacred heart to me. And that sacred heart is there in the Eucharist every day. That is what we need to renew in the church. We need to return to Christ, to what is sacred, to the mystery. Christ reveals himself in that mystery of the Eucharist. There was nothing wrong with that Mass. Nothing. It was perfect. It was beautiful. But let's not weaponize it. Never, never. Christ is above all of these things. We have to love with the heart of Christ. <sighs> you know, I don't want divisions in the church. I don't want thems and us. But like, you know, every soul is precious. Every soul, especially if they come to Mass, they're precious to God. They're precious to Christ. He loves them so much. He wants to encounter them. And the sad thing that we've done in the Novus Ordo, we've turned off the, the, the channels of grace We've removed confession before Mass. We've, we've re, re, removed the reverence so that the mystery is clouded. The mystery is eclipsed in most Novus Orders because we don't focus on what is happening there. As Shia LaBeouf, you know, you know, it engages your heart profoundly. It really does. You know, I want to, I want to bring people to that encounter, but I don't want to divisions. And I, don't, I certainly don't want anybody feeling uncomfortable will never change if we don't lead people to the sacred heart. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.